identifying prime and composite whole numbers between 1 and 100. Prime numbers are numbers that only have two factors, 1 and the number itself. Composite numbers are numbers that have more than two factors. You can also think of factors as numbers that when multiplied together equal a certain number. For example, 16. 2 times a number 8 gets you 16, so 2 is a factor of 16. 4 times a number, 4, also gets you 16, so 4 is a factor of 16. 8 times a number 2 gets you 16, so 8 is a factor of 16. So the factors of 16 are 2, 4, and 8. Remember though, a number can be multiplied by 1 and itself, so 1 and itself are always factors. 1 times 16 equals 16, and 16 times 1 equals 16. So 1 and 16 are also factors. Every number has at least two factors, one and itself. Let's take a look at a problem. Check whether each number is prime or composite. To do this, find the factors of each number to check if it is prime or composite. Let's start with number 1. The number 1 has only one factor, 1, which is the same as itself. 1 is a special number. It is neither prime nor composite. It is the only whole number which is neither prime nor composite. Let's look at the number 2. The number 2 only has two factors, 1 and the number itself, 2. So it is a prime number. Remember, 2 is the only prime even number. All other even numbers are composite because they will have 2 as a factor, meaning you can always divide even numbers by 2, along with 1 and the numbers themselves. Now let's take a look at the third number, 15. Think, what numbers can be multiplied together to get 15? 1 and 15 are factors because 1 and the number itself are factors of every whole number. 1 times 15 equals 15. Let's check for other factors. Is 2 a factor of 15? Let's try multiplying 2 by a number to see if you can get 15. 2 times 7 equals 14. 2 times 8 equals 16. We can't multiply 2 by any number and get 15, so 2 is not a factor of 15. Let's try another number. Is 3 a factor of 15? Can we multiply 3 by a number and get 15? 3 times 5 equals 15. 3 times the number 5 gets you 15, so 3 is a factor of 15. 5 then is also a factor of 15 because 5 times the number 3 equals 15. 15's factors are 1, 3, 5, and 15. 15 has more than two factors, so it is a composite number. Now let's take a look at the last number, 13. Let's look for 13's factors. What numbers can we multiply by something to get 13? Let's try 2. 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 times 7 equals 14. 2 can't be multiplied by something to get 13, so 2 is not a factor of 13. Let's try 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 times 5 equals 15. 3 can't be multiplied to something to get 13, so 3 is not a factor of 13. Let's try 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. 4 times 4 equals 16. 4 can't be multiplied by something to get 13, so 4 is not a factor of 13. Let's try 5. 5 times 2 equals 10. 5 times 3 equals 15. 5 can't be multiplied by something to get 13. 5 is not a factor of 13. So the number 13 only has two factors. 1 
and the number itself, 13. These are the only two numbers that can be multiplied together to get 13. There are no other numbers. So 13 is a prime number. Thanks for watching.